What's up everybody, it's Chris, I'm coming to you with another one of my crazy crossroads and I am at a very odd, peculiar location. It's a, it's a house that's stuck back in the woods and apparently I can get to it through hiking through um, this park that I'm at. Um, the house has been abandoned, um, it's been crazy. Um, I know some people have done a video out here and uh, had some crazy stuff go on. Uh, they don't know how I can get in here at night because the access point that they know is through the woods here. So as you can see, you know, they have barriers right here. So at night they close it up. <clears throat> so I'm just going to kind of take a little walk. I'm going to go through the house, see what we can find. And then I'm going to try and find like an access point to come back at night. Um, they said that they do, they do come out here during the day and some crazy stuff has happened in that house. Um, as far as that, I'm not really sure, but... I'm gonna head into the woods here, see what we can get into. See you guys in a bit. Deuces. So, I'm a good, good distance in the woods right now. Uh, I don't know where this place is, but there's trails that go all through here. So that's a good thing. At least I know how I can get back out. And I'm not much of a hiker, so thankfully it's, it's wow, it's flat. But you got a bunch of crazy roots and stuff here. <sighs> Creeks going through. Uh, I'll tell you what. I don't know if I'd be able to come out here. Um, by myself at night because this is going to be scary as hell just walking through here so we'll see all right so i zigged when i should have zagged so i got through the woods and now i'm in this big old open field and It's just a continuation of the park, which I was supposed to get into the woods, walk about a mile or so, and uh, I was supposed to be able to find the house or whatever. Anyway, heading back into the woods. I'm going to try and go the opposite way now. See you in a second. This will be another fun video. <laughs> so, I'm just... Squirrel. I'm walking through all these little areas here. And uh, I'm hoping I just stumble across this place. So the deeper I get in certain areas, I get scared to death by squirrels. <laughs> I'm always on edge, man. But uh, I'm going to see if uh, that company, Calm, wants to sponsor me. They sent me some calm pills. But I'll tell you what, if anything, I mean, look at this place. Birds, little running creeks. It's just absolutely beautiful. I'm determined. Uh, I've been walking for about 45 minutes, guys, so I don't know where the heck I'm going to end up. And I don't even know if I can get back out of here. But this is a completely new area, so we'll see we'll see if I can find anything. I 
Yeah, this is crazy. I found it. I found it. And I don't know if it were deer or I don't know what. All it is is just a shack, guys. Looks like a metal shack, but something just came booking out of there. It's absolutely beautiful though, back here. That tree fell right into the building. All right, so don't really know the clear story about this place. Other than the fact that people say they come back here and it's haunted. I hear that all the time, so. <clears throat> their story that uh, some people have been raped back here and killed and all that, but I looked up information, couldn't find anything. Ooh, it's creepy though. It's a creepy shed. I could see at night why this would be uh, pretty friggin' freaky. venture onto the other side of this. <clears throat> oh, I can see where there's would be some tomfoolery going on back here. Holy crap, it's like Jason. Little Friday, 13th. safest place to go into. Flashlight somewhere. Where the heck is it? Let me see if I got it. Sorry guys, I'm reaching behind my back to get my flashlight. Would be easier if I took my backpack off. Creepy little shed. Yeah, let me take my backpack off. Get this. Maybe it was like a storage facility or something. It's just metal. It's not a house by any means. Yeah, this is it. Nothing fancy. Nothing fancy at all. Nothing fancy, Nancy. little PBR and some dirty old pajamas I'll tell you what this would be creepy as all get out to um, come hang out here at uh, at night that's for sure this is like I just uh, stump <laughs> Stump scared the hell out of me. 
right. It's a good thing I'm here during the day, because uh, if that bang would have happened at night, your boy would have been screaming and cursing like a little, little fairy. Cool anyway, I mean, it's like a little urbex video. I also shot a video the other night that <clears throat> I've been contemplating putting up. It, was, it wasn't really a video at all. It seems like everything I've been doing It's a wide open area, so. Sound travels. It sounded like there was a kid yelling, but about a mile that way there is a park so it could have very easily been just kids screaming um but yeah like i said everything i've been trying to do i, I something happens i was sick for a long time guys <clears throat> i made mention in the other video so i went and did a video down by the lake not far from where i live and uh it's a place where kids go to hang out and get freaked out um, it's just like a little underpass or a little uh, pier area, and I guess they found like four or five kids. Uh, I say kids, but I think they were like in their 20s that overdosed um, all in the same time years ago. So kids go out there and they uh, they're haunted by being there. I'd say they hear all kinds of stuff there. And anyway, I went out there, get rid of some of these cobwebs, and. It was about 10 o'clock at night and I started filming and there were kids out there, so um, I got cut short. I did get a little bit of footage. Maybe I'll just throw the two of these videos together just to get some content out there and say hi to everybody. But um, And then I talked a little bit on the other video as well, so maybe I'll attach it to the back end of this. Regardless, this is just absolutely beautiful. Maybe you guys will appreciate just hanging out with me and seeing some of this beauty. It's a shed. Haunted? Come on. I don't think so. Now, come here at night if you can get in here. I don't know how you can. Because like I said, this park, the way I got in, um, is blocked off at night. Uh, your mind's going to play tricks on you. That's going to scare the living hell out of you. Being in this back air, in this woods. You know how dark it must be back here? It's just, I can't even imagine. So, um, just look at this. Look how cool. Is that not the coolest thing? <clears throat> trees. <laughs> yeah, if I come out here at night and get scared, I'm gonna run and get all tied up in all these tree branches. Wow, look at this. So absolutely beautiful. So I've never been one to, for nature. Uh, it just wasn't my thing. Until probably the past few years. Um, you know, obviously when, you know, when you get sick, you appreciate things a little more or just, you know, growing up and maturing, uh, you start to appreciate things a lot more. And I'll tell you, just being out here is absolutely beautiful. <clears throat> and in this area, there's tons and tons of places that I can go and just walk and, uh, just have my thoughts to myself it's just awesome thankfully there's not a lot of um, elevated terrain here because that's when uh, it's hard for me to do um, I took the family to uh, Kings Mountain which is close to here and uh, or close to where I live and uh, enjoy we had so much fun just walking the trails but it started getting a little little steep and your boy couldn't couldn't do it um, 
<clears throat> so you just got to know your limits. But I am enjoying this. It's just absolutely beautiful. I'll post it. I'll put the other video on here as well. It's just a great place to be um, for your mind. So I took the motorcycle out here. You guys will see that on the intro, um, which that's my ultimate therapy is my motorcycle. And then just kind of in between turning the camera off. And uh, and walk in, I get to get to clear my head a little. <clears throat> my wife the other day was asking me, uh, she said uh, maybe I should go think about getting something for like depression or whatever. Um, and I've just really been struggling, guys, with uh, everything that's going on or has gone on. Now I have another friend that's been in the hospital for two weeks. He's, he's I guess he's pretty sick, so um, talked to him this morning. He ate some pudding for the first time in eight days that he's had anything. So that's that's a plus. But it just seems like it's not not ending. There's no end to this madness. But I'm not depressed. I don't think I'm depressed. Then again, who who does? I'm just sad. That's all I keep telling my my wife. I'm really sad. <clears throat> um, Michael being gone, I still to this day just go to pick up the phone and call him and. Um, it's just, it's just insane. It's just hard, hard to deal with. Everybody's deal deals with it. I know that everybody goes through a thing. It's just, you know, this is, this is my thing. And, uh, I think this is the reason why I'm still around because, uh, <clears throat> I had to take this obstacle on and maybe be a good role model or witness for my kids. It's hard to uh, think that you are being a good role model when you're just so damn sad. A lot of the time so anyway I make my way back out of here guys jump on the bike and uh, toss this thing up on YouTube see if you guys enjoy it so I hope you like the uh, appreciate how pretty this is kind of cool so they have like a also they have this frisbee golf thing that runs throughout here and just looks like so much fun So all this running water and creeks and all this is stuff that I'm just not used to, so I love it. Look at that. Too cool. people I'm out I'm gonna uh, walk on back but again I hope you guys enjoy this video I know it's not too spooktacular but um, nonetheless it's something I feel like I'm a failing you guys I'm not failing I don't want to fail you guys but hey it is what it is I will see you guys soon like always see everything down in the, the description I have not got in a P.O. box yet. Once I get back on track and start filming more and more, I will do that for you. Um, other than that, guys, I'll see you next time. Deuces. Love you. Yo, what's up, beautiful people? It's Chris coming to you with another one of my crazy crossroads, and I am at this no-name place. Um, it's basically a lake. 
Um, I guess there's like a path, there's some woods, it's a small area. But um, the story is, is that about four or five people overdosed here um, in one sitting. So I guess it was a bad batch or whatever. Um, younger people, and uh, it's kind of, well, it's not kind of, it is. It's a sad story, I hate hearing that. But uh, the, the crazy kids around in this area come out and they talk about how haunted this is all the time. So they say they see things, they hear things. Uh, I don't know. Is it, uh, is it just a ghost story or is, is it real? But uh, we're gonna take a little venture over here, check it out. Um, I do have a few things coming up uh, that I'm trying to get into. Uh, I was sick, guys. I was sick for a while. I mean, I was sick for about, oh, shoot, like 12 days. Bad. I was in the hospital. I couldn't breathe. Uh, doctors thought I had COVID. I thought I had COVID. I was like, oh, here we go. It's now it's my turn. But uh, thankfully, um, I didn't, so maybe the uh, clouds are starting to part. We're starting to get some brightness uh, coming our way, and uh, good things are hopefully hopefully uh, down the pipe. Uh, so like I always say, the best is yet to come. Um, I hope this video finds you safe, happy, and healthy, and I will see you guys in just a minute. Deuces. All right, so like I said, there's a little lake area over here. I'm going to shut the light off when I come off over here because I think on the back side of that there's some houses. So we'll go kind of go by, flat, by flashlight and uh, see if we can capture anything, see anything. Now I think back in this area there's deep woods, there's some trails and stuff. I don't know. I don't know. I, like I said, I don't. there's homes around here too, so I don't want to disturb anybody. So let's just see what we can get into. All right, so I'm just going to cut the light, guys. Like I said, we'll kind of go by flashlight. So I was told there's like a little cove down in this area. And uh, I guess the kids would come back in this area and party, have a good time. And uh, Yeah, there's actually some kids over there now. Hanging out. Yeah, so there's a lot of stuff that I might not be able to do, so. Stand by. All right, so. There are definitely a bunch of people out here. Well, not a bunch, a handful of people. And you can see people come out. So, cut off for a second. Just went and talked to some of those kids. And they said down here, underneath this pier, is where they hear stuff. Now, it's absolutely beautiful over here. But I'm going to probably have to venture on though, guys, because there's just way too many people around here. It seems like everything I try to do gets uh, overshadowed with something here in South Carolina. Maybe I'll just see to it that I come back. much later at night. All right, so I hope I'm focused in okay. I'm in the car. I just uh, I just took off. This is like the craziest thing. Every, uh, every opportunity I have to shoot something here in South Carolina, something else pops up. Um, kids were cool. I really didn't want to get into too much with the kids because... Uh, I don't know how old they were. They look, <laughs> they looked young, and I, I definitely wasn't. Uh, they were excited that I was out there filming, but <clears throat> excuse me, I didn't want to get them, like I said, on film. Uh, but they swear that 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 place is like haunted. Um, they would, they weren't going to leave, especially once they knew that I was uh, that I was filming and what I do. So uh, <laughs> they were going to hang out. So I, I, I guess I'll just go back. I guess you guys, I'll just put this little short video out uh, as a prelude into a future video there um, you know it's not late it's like 10 o'clock at night 
Um, other than that, I, I I don't know what to do. I'm sorry, guys. I I'm trying <laughs> trying to get some content out for you. I know uh, I know I need to be a little more entertaining towards you, but as everybody knows, life has been crazy. Um, we'll get back on track here shortly. I have to, because I'm starting to go nuts. I had a, uh, <clears throat> I had a uh, crazy day today. Just my my uh, my head's been all over the place. I can't seem to get over um, losing so much family, um, especially uh, you know my my cousins. Well, especially my cousin Michael. You know, he not only was my cousin, he was my best friend and. I swear it's like I just, I still like go to pick up the phone to talk to him probably daily and uh, he's not there. It sucks, but um, we're going to get back at it, guys. Uh, my wife and I were talking about possibly doing, um, doing, uh, she was telling me I should just vlog and just do like daily videos, so... I just don't know if, how entertaining that would be, but she's like, I'm always working on my motorcycle, I'm always doing stuff. It's like, just film a day in the life of, of Chris, you know, and then when I do the ghost videos, that's that's just a bonus, so, I don't know, maybe, maybe we'll give it a shot and see if you guys like it, and uh, I don't want to bombard you with, with silly videos of seeing my stupid face. So, uh, anyway guys, I'm, I'm going to move on, this is going to be a short video. I guess it's just a little hello how you doing and uh i hope you guys are well and i will see you soon see you next time on sea's crazy crossroads deuces love you peace